another episode of Ask African Dad. You people out there, pay close attention. A lot of you keep asking me the same questions week after week. Before you ask a question, go back and watch all the videos that I've done. I am getting sick and tired of reading the same questions week after week. Okay, if you people continue to ask me the same questions, then I must stop this Ask African Dad because it means that you people have run out of questions. Okay, so here goes this week's questions that were not deleted. The first question comes from Ganes or Janes or Glanis, whatever it is, you know I don't care. And he wants to know, why don't I ever want Criff to correct me? Two reasons. One, I am never wrong. Two, Crifford's life is not correct, so how can he correct me? Our next question comes from two people, Andrew and Joshua. And they want to know, what would I say or do if Crifford was to become a pastor? With that one, all praise to God, because when God calls you into his ministry, it's something that nobody, including myself, can cut off or disconnect that call. So if it's God's plan for Crawford to be a pastor, then pastor it is. But you know, there's a reason why doctor rhymes with pastor. It is the same blessing. Our next question comes from Damilola, and he says, I have a girl, hey, I have a girlfriend at the moment, and my parents do not know. Should I wait or tell them? <laughs> hey, hey. Oh, okay. You, this boy, you are a dead man walking. You are dead already. So the question is, do you want to die even more right now and tell your parents about that, your girlfriend? Or do you want to die later on? Because your parents will find out about that girlfriend anyway. You think you are deceiving your parents. You're not deceiving them. You are deceiving yourself. There's nothing that you can keep away from them. Whatever is happening in the dark, trust me, will come to light. So call that girl right now and say, hey, I am disconnecting from you and I'm reconnecting with God in my school studies. Our next question comes from Pris Louisa and her daughter, Megan. She wants to know what age will Criff move out? Well, I've been wanting Criff to move out since his nonsense started at the age of nine. Since then, I've had moving bags just waiting for Criff to come up to me and say, hey, I'm ready to go and I'll give him a bye-bye. So there's no age restriction in this house. Whenever he's ready to go, he can go. The next question comes from Emmanuel. Emmanuel wants to know, why do African parents have an issue when their kids want to grow out their hair? Well, that one is simple. Right now, look at you. Look how gentle you look with your hair cut and low. When you start to grow your hair, you look like a ruffian. You look like a musketeer. You look rough, rough. We don't like rough in this house. First will be your hair, then soon, your, 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 your pants will start to drag. Then you will walk around the house talking about yo-yo. We don't want yo-yo in this house. So let me give you an example. Let me put it right in your face. Look at your picture right now. You see how gentle you look with your hair nice and trim, nice and low. Now look at your hair, all rough, rough. Huh? Don't you look foolish? Don't you look foolish? Exactly. The next question comes from Abbas. He wants to know why do African parents want their kids to do everything in the house. Hey, because we take care of everything outside of the house. We pay the rent. We go out and buy groceries so you can eat. We go out and buy clothes so that you can wear. We go out, buy television, cable so you can watch TV. So the reason why you are taking care of the inside is because we are taking care of the outside. Nonsense. Our final question comes from Samuel. Hey, Samuel, are you okay? Why are you playing like that? Okay, right now it's fun and games. You are playing and playing and then one day, boom, you are really a dog. Anyways, someone wants to know if an A- minus is accepted in an African home because an A- minus is an A. My friend, who lied to you? Who lied to you? An A- minus is not an A. An A- minus is just an enhanced B. It's a B with swagger. That's it, an B with swagger because an A- minus it's like 99.99. It's not a hundred. There's somebody in your class who just got an A, who got a hundred, and that person, I know for sure, they do not have two heads. So no, an A minus is not accepted 
in an African home. If it was an A, it would be an A. It wouldn't be A minus. So don't tell me that an A minus is an A. It's just a B with swagger. And now for the most popular comment on the YouTube. And it comes from Anderson James. He wants to know, did your father treat you the same way you are treating Crawford? And the answer is yes. He gave me a place to live. He gave me food to eat when I was hungry. He put me in school. He put me in the church so that I will love and praise God. So yes, I'm doing the same thing for Crawford. So my father, they treat me the same way I'm treating Crawford. Okay, that's it for this week's Ask African Dad. Next week, I will take more of your questions. Don't be mad if your question was not answered. Please do not keep asking me the same questions. I will delete. So send your questions to Ask African Dad at gmail.com. And remember, last week I told you I have Instagram. Crawford told me that nobody will add me. But guess what? Right now I have over 3,000 people who have added me. And you too, go and add me right now at African.Dad. Let's show Crawford that me, I can have more followers than him. So until next time, bye bye. Oh. Hey, I wanna love, I wanna I wanna kiss, I wanna touch you. I got a place, no one above you. Me see, I go place, no one above you. Hey, make a shift up your waistline. Think of how they love you, your baseline. Every time you be showtime. Money that I do.